You are looking at one of the first VR-ready gaming laptops. This is MSI's Scary Great GT72 Dominator. And this one is the coveted Dragon Edition. Yeah, that's right. It's badass. I'm Sherlyn with LaptopMag.com. Let's enter this dragon and see what it's got. Massing 8.4 pounds and measuring nearly 17 inches side to side, you can hardly call this a laptop. The dragon came to play rough. Everything about it is solid, tight, and industrial strength. The display hinge feels like it was specced for a castle drawbridge. This brute needs a lot of cooling. If you really use it on your lap, you're in for uncomfortable temperatures over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Fire up the dragon and the MSI splash appears, nicely scarred with blood red talon slash marks. The 17.3 inch screen is non-reflective and easy to watch. Colors are deep and lustrous. Still, it's not the highest res display out there. It's just a standard 1920 by 1080 panel. An Nvidia GeForce GTX 980 card gives wing to graphics. Owners and pros will recognize the 980 chip from Big Gun's desktop towers. It's a screamer. NVIDIA's G-Sync intelligently manages the screen's frame rates, which makes for super rapid rendering with no distracting tearing. It also speeds up handling of your mouse and keyboard moves. We haven't said much about the VR possibilities here, but you can hook this rig up to an Oculus Rift or HTC Vive for serious 360-degree gaming. Any dedicated GPU offloads a lot of strain from the CPU. And this GeForce punches well above its weight. We consistently saw frame rates of 75 FPS and above on very dense action scenes with very high relative quality. For that CPU, MSI packed a 2.7 GHz Core i7-6820HK driving 32 gigs of RAM. If you're a tweaker, you can overclock it. Even at regular speed, this beast still beat the tar out of every other gaming laptop we tested. Feeding that processor is a pair of 128 gigs PCIe solid-state drives in a RAID 0 array. Together, they sling the data at almost 850 Mbps. The GT72's immensity provides enough room for MSI to give you a 1 terabyte secondary hard drive and an optical drive for Blu-rays and DVDs. Every dragon has his Achilles heel. Too often we saw the dreaded, your battery is running low, message. We got less than three hours of runtime, which is less than competitors' numbers. MSI and its partner SteelSeries designed this dominator with a roomy, responsive keyboard. And it's colorful, like most current game boards. 16.8 million colors can be mapped to six zones with six built-in effects. Create your favorite look for a particular game or app, and then save it. On the far left, no shortage of dedicated buttons. Power, graphics processor, air cooler, XSplit Gamecaster, and SteelSeries engine toggles. Ports, ports, and more ports. The right side offers two USB 3.0 ports and the Blu-ray burner. Over on the left, four more USB 3.0 sockets, plus an SD card slot, as well as discrete jacks for headphones, a mic, spit-if audio, and a line-out to an amp. Wait, we're not done! Along the back face, a full-size HDMI port, one USB Type-C, a mini display port, an Ethernet, and the power supply jack. It's a big machine, and it makes a big noise. The onboard sound system from Dynaudio stretches its loudspeaker array across the keyboard deck. A separate subwoofer hides beneath the left corner. Man, you don't even know. For those who like to threaten their adversaries with their ferocious real-world appearance, the Dragon's webcam will stream a full 1080p at 30 FPS. Grr! Arg! If you want to future-proof yourself for the VR world to come while shredding on a super robust game box right now, you probably can't beat this MSI GT72 Dominator. I mean, just look at the thing. It's as much of a monster as anything you'll need to slay in-game. 
we enter this dragon even more deeply in our full review. I strongly suggest you click on over. For LaptopMag.com, I'm Sherlyn Lowe.